21 drops. Aromatherapy like you've never known it. 21 blends, 21 solutions, from headache to heartache. Hi, I'm Carrie Castor, founder and creator of 21 Drops Essential Oil Therapy. I'm a botanist and a massage therapist, as well as a clinical aromatherapist, practicing for over 25 years. So in explaining what essential oil therapy is, first we have to understand what essential oils are. Essential oils are oils that are produced by plants in different plant parts. So you can have uh, leaves, uh, cardamom seeds, you have the grapefruit rind, you have sandal wood and different woods. Here's an example of the root, ginger root, and also resin, which is uh, collected from the plant bark when you make, just like our maple syrup, when we make a slit in the bark and it oozes out the syrup. Uh, the same is true with frankincense and myrrh and other resins. We make a slit in the tree and it oozes out and it hardens and we can collect that and extract those properties and we distill it. So we take all these different plant parts that actually produce essential oils and we put them in these apparatus. Here we have two examples. This is copper because on a commercial scale they a lot of times use copper because it helps even extract more of those active properties from the plant uh, from the plant parts. But here we have one that's clear so you can actually see what goes on. We put water in the bottom. We put our plant material here. I have some examples of peppermint leaves. And we know when we even just rub our herbs and our peppermint you know, and we smell that, those are the oils we're smelling and then they just dissipate into the air. But here we want to collect it and use those oils. What I love to show is this electron micrograph uh, magnified 500 times so that you can actually see what it is we're smelling. These are little droplets of essential oil on the surface of the leaf that when it's distilled or when we, when we rub it, it's opening up and releasing and that's what we smell. So how do we collect this and how do we utilize those precious oils? So we put the plant material in this section, the water boils up, the steam rises like we steam our vegetables, it opens up and releases those little droplets open up and burst and release that volatile oil into the steam and the vapor comes and as it cools, the oil and the water element separate, just like we have in typical uh, oil and water that we know, we, and also in our salad dressing, we know oil and water don't mix. So this is a wonderful way for us to be able to extract the oils, and then they separate out of the steam. And then you get your pure essential oil. Here I have three examples, and you can see even how different the plant parts are, how different than each unique oil is for each particular plant. So then what do we do? We have our pure essential oils. How do we know what they're good for? How do we know what they do for us? So there's something called GCMS testing. It's gas chromatography mass spectrometry. It's a very important step if you are using essential oils for therapeutic purposes. This testing helps us to identify all the active components that are in that oil. So, uh, so that we know what, what it will do to our physiology. When we inhale the oils or we apply them to the skin, a whole chain reaction of physiological responses occurs. So how do we know what's going to happen is by looking at these GCMS reports and understanding their unique chemistry. And what we've done in 21 Drops is we've combined anywhere from three to five oils so that they can synergistically work together to bring about change in the 21 conditions that we're addressing. So what does a clinical aromatherapist mean? Well, studying essential oils is a very complicated science. It involves a lot of chemistry and understanding how each of the chemical components within the oils affect our physiology. In Europe, where I studied, they use essential oil therapy in their hospital settings and as a complementary modality. I'm excited to say that I'm on the board of the Alliance of International Aromatherapists, 
that is helping here, especially in the U.S., to raise our level and standard of using essential oils as well in hospital settings. So this whole concept of using essential oils is on the rise here, even in the U.S. It's been used for thousands and thousands of years. There's recorded history from the biblical times, Egyptian tombs still had urns with pure essential oils. The entire embalming process of the bodies in Egypt for their mummies and in the tombs was using these plant-based materials. So now that we understand about essential oils, 21 Drops takes this information and we combine them anywhere from three to five oils in each blend to address 21 everyday concerns from headache to heartache. 